Hi everyone, my name is Alisa, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a server-to-server -server OAuth app, how to activate it, and how to use it with Postman. As you can see right now, I'm in the Marketplace dashboard, and what we're going to do right now is we're going to click Develop, and we're going to build an app. We're going to scroll down, and we're going to find the server-to-server -server OAuth. So we're just going to create one, and we're going to give our, our app a name. So let's do a world, maybe, and we're going to create our app. Here it is, our newly created app. It is an account level app, and it is server to server OAuth type. Now, what we're going to get when creating a server to server OAuth app is that we're going to get an account ID, client ID, and a client secret associated with our application. We're going to need this tree in the future to make uh, requests for an access token. So we're going to click continue. We're going to land on the information tab where we're going to add some of these fields. We're going to click continue. Now we're going to be on the feature tab. Right now, we're not going to use it, so I'm going to skip for now and leave it like that. We're going to click continue, and we're going to land on the scopes tab. For this video, we're just going to use two scopes. We're going to add view and manage all user meetings and view all user meetings. We're going to click done. We're going to click continue. And last but not least, we're going to activate your app. That's it. We're going to just go back to the app credentials tab so we can have access to these three uh, keys that we're going to need in order, uh, in order for us to be able to make requests to get an access token. So I have the documentation here. And I'm just going to scroll down to have all the, the all the free programs that I need handy, as well as the endpoint. I'm going to scroll down. Here it is. So it's telling me to that in order to use account credentials to get an access token, we have to call the Zoom OAuth token API, which is this one. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go to Postman. And I'm going to generate a new post request. And I'm going to paste that endpoint. Now, we need to add the grant type account credentials. Let's do grant type here, account credentials. and account ID as a query parameter as well. Now we need to go back to the marketplace and grab my account ID and paste it as a query parameter. Now, as seen in the documentation, the authorization is gonna be basic 64 encoder. So we're gonna need to encoder client ID and our client secret. The good thing about using Postman is that you don't need to encode it. You just need to go back to, you just need to go to the authorization tab and click on basic authorization. And here you're going to paste your client ID and the client secret as username and password. So let's go to the marketplace and grab the client ID and paste it as a username and the client secret and paste it as a password. Remember, don't share your credentials with anyone. Um, and in case you forget and you add them into, and you push them into your GitHub or someone has access to them, try to regenerate them so your data is protected. So once that's done, we have, let's go double check. We have our endpoint. We have the grant type that it's account credentials, and we have the account ID that it's associated with our app. So let's send this request. This was successful. We got a, an access token back and the scopes here. Also, it told us it tells us what type of token we got, which is a bear token and the expiration time. So now for testing purposes, so you can see that this actually works. I'm going to go ahead and grab this access token. And I'm just going to create a meeting. 
I have set up this before in order for us to save some time. I have added a topic, a type, a duration, a password, and an agenda to my meeting. Um, and I'm, I'm hitting the users slash me slash meeting meetings. And this is a post request. So in authorization, we're going to click on bear token. And we're just going to paste the token that we got back from our previous post request. We're going to click send. And this was successful. 201 created. That's it. As you can see, it is very easy to set up a server-to-server -server OAuth app, and it's also very used to activate it and to start making requests. Remember, these kind of tokens expire every hour, so you just need to be to make sure that every hour you generate a new one so you can keep accessing your endpoint. That's it from me. I hope you like this video and let me know if you have any other questions. Happy coding.